Let's bring back stock firmware to our Xiaomi device. Alright guys, let's continue the series. First, we unlock the bootloader of our Xiaomi device. After that, we install the custom recovery and after that the custom ROM. And now we are ready. We check all the custom ROMs. We don't like them, probably. I don't know the reason, but maybe you find it. And now we are ready to bring our phone back to stock firmware. Probably you want to sell it, you want to go for your warranty or something. But today I will show you how to bring back your Xiaomi device to stock firmware. But before we start, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Let's move in. Okay, for today's video, we'll need our phone, of course, a USB cable and a PC. Of course, guys, for today's video and every firmware installation, my advice is to use the original USB cable coming in the box with your phone. So, when you are ready with your computer and your phone and your USB cable, we can move to our computer and download some things. Alright guys, we are here on our computer and we can open the following website. Of course guys, all the links will be in video description, so always check first there. Now, here is the website that we need. You can see there is plenty of Xiaomi devices, Redmi and Poco devices, but here from that arrow, just tap it and from that drop down list, you can select your device. Mine is Mi 11. You can find and select your device. I will just select Mi 11 and tap on submit. Now, here, because today we are using a fast boot flushing method, because if you are using custom ROM and you want to go back to your stock firmware, the best method is to use a fast boot flushing method and flush your device to be sure everything will go smoothly. All right. Now, here you can see the list of every country, but this is not important now. Select Flushing Guide. Just select and tap on it. You need to tap on Fastboot Update, because today we will use a Fastboot method. And this is a method 2 or second method, Fastboot Update. The most secure and most smooth method. All right. Of course, now we need to read everything carefully. Please read everything careful before you start, because this is important. If you don't read everything, you can break your device. So, read everything before you start. First, step 1, download MIUI ROM Flushing 2. Just tap on it and save it on your computer. This is our software which we will use to flush our phone. Step 2 is to find your device and download the proper fastboot version for it. Let's scroll down. You can see there is lots of lots of devices. We are searching now for Mi 11 because my device is Mi 11 and you can see what's written. Xiaomi Mi 11 latest global stable. Second, Xiaomi Mi 11 latest EEA stable. Xiaomi Mi 11 latest IN stands for India and Russian and so on and so on. Now I will download EEA because I live in Europe and I need that firmware. Just tap here on it and just save it somewhere on your device. Alright, when you are ready, scroll to the bottom of the page. We read everything and we are ready here with our website. So. Let's now go where we download our files. All right, here are our downloaded files. Here is the firmware itself. And now, maybe it's a little bit different for me because I'm using Windows 11, but it's almost the same with Windows 10 and 7 and XP probably. So right click on the firmware and select I will select show more options and if you don't have a 7-zip, I suggest you to install a 7-zip on your computer. It's free, very easy and very useful. And select extract to 
when it's extracted you can open it and see what we have inside of course extract mi flush tool and when it's ready here it is extracted now again my advice is to copy the firmware both files extracted firmware and extracted mi flush tool in a folder created in your volume c of your computer just create new folder in volume c and copy everything there so i create a folder here called xiaomi flush create your own folder but guys don't use any intervals between the words as you can see xiaomi flush i made it with one word don't use any intervals just create a folder with one word and copy these two the firmware extracted firmware and mi flush tool in your created folder in volume c so when you are ready you can open mi flush scroll down and find xiaomi flush dot exe and of course double tap on it to open it so here it is you can install here the drivers and just select driver and tap install and it will install your drivers of course i will put a link with all the drivers in video description so if you can't install them from here you can try from other place and guys if you connect your phone if you install every driver and everything and your computer still can recognize your phone try with different usb port and if it's still not working try to disable driver signature enforcement in windows 10 search in internet how to do this now it's time to connect our phone how to do this just hold the power button power off the device when it's completely power off hold volume down and power button Continue holding them until you see that bunny. When you see it, that means you are in fast boot mode. So when you are there, here came our USB cable. Just connect your phone with your computer with the USB cable. All right, it's connected now. Let's tap here on refresh button. And that's how it look like. Here are the numbers, letters, of your device this is the serial number of your device if your device is not appearing here as i told you tap here on driver install the drivers check the drivers in video description if still not working try disable driver signature enforcement in windows all right so when we are ready here now you can tap here on select button open this pc go to c Scroll down, find your folder which we previously create, find your firmware, tap on the arrow, mark the folder just before images and select OK. And here came the important part. Here you can see you have clean O and lock and that guys means when you flush your stock firmware it will factory reset and all the files from your device will be deleted and bootloader will be locked if you don't want your bootloader to be locked just select clean all this will delete everything from your device but your bootloader will stay unlocked so select clean all if you don't want to lock your bootloader and save user data never use this because it can't happen from custom rom to official stock firmware your data will be lost so before you start always make a backup make a backup and after that install your custom rom other way everything will be deleted from your device so when we are ready select clean all i want my bootloader to stay unlocked so i will just select clean all and now when you are ready and everything is smooth just select flush and your device will start installing your stock firmware and guys here remember something never try to lock your bootloader with chinese phone flushing global firmware or other way always lock your bootloader with global phone and global firmware or chinese phone and chinese firmware so when we are ready select clean all or clean all and lock and tap 
flush. So guys, we are ready. We flush the stock firmware on our Xiaomi device. Now we can disconnect our phone from the computer, but just before we do this, I will show you, you can see here on the computer, we receive an error, not catch checkpoint, fastboot flush is not done, but it's completely done. This is an error from me flush. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but it, I receive it every time. But anyway, all the flush are passed and everything is okay. Just at the end, I received that error. Probably it's because of unlocked bootloader, but anyway, everything is okay with the flush. Now we can disconnect the phone from the computer and we can continue on our phone. Remember, first time boot is very slow, so be patient and wait it. When you hit flush and if you receive an error, probably this error is because you didn't move your mi flush and your downloaded firmware in the C volume of your computer. Always move it to C volume and make a folder without any intervals. But if you do this and you still receive an error when you tap flush, probably you are trying to downgrade from Android 11 to Android 10 and you have an anti-rollback protection. Xiaomi made this, I will show you how to fix that, but keep in mind that you can break your device with this method. So use it only if you are trying to install custom ROM only with the same Android version. All right guys, let's just search on our computer for notepad and open a notepad. Now here tap on file, tap open, and go to the file where is your downloaded firmware. Here tap on that arrow and select all files. And now select flush all but and tap open. When it's open in your notepad, you can delete these rows. Everything with check and anti row back here. All these rows, you can just delete them. And that's it. Now just save the file file save and that's it now you can continue and you can flush your phone without any errors all right guys i will continue setting up my phone with my stock firmware and remember if you like this video and if this video helps you somehow don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos thanks for watching and have a nice day